whether on the tabletop or the computer, exciting sports simulation action plays here. This is Imagisport. Hello there and welcome once again to the Imagine Sports Showcase. Derek Jones here with you. Thank you for joining us. And in this video, we're going to go back to shootout hockey and some more 80s greats hockey league action. Uh, we're in the October 14th portion of the schedule today. And the game we have for you featured are the Quebec Nordiques going to Northlands Coliseum to wrap up their season opening Western Canada road trip against the Edmonton Oilers. The Nordiques are off to a surprising uh, 2-0 start, defeating uh, both Vancouver and Calgary on the first two legs of the trip. Edmonton, on the other hand, is 1-1. One and one. Uh, They soundly defeated LA on the road in their opening game before coming back home and losing to St. Louis. So a couple of high-octane teams here today. Um, so we should have a barn burner of a game. And just kind of taking a look at the up-to-the-minute statistics right now uh, from my league website, it looks like the Nordiques are led in by Anton Stasny with two goals and two assists, Peter Stasny with a goal and four assists on the early going. Uh, Michelle Goulet has three goals to start off with, and Dale Hunter starting off with two goals so far in the young campaign. So taking a look over here for the Oilers, as you would expect, Wayne Gretzky is the top scorer for them right now. Uh, so far in the two games, he has four goals and three assists. Um, net closest one to him is Yari Curry with uh, two goals and three assists. So going with the goaltenders today, uh, starting in goaltender for the Nordiques is going to be Mario Gosselin, and starting in goal for Edmonton is going to be Andy Moog. Each of them are going to be making their season debuts today, so no stats to report for them. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go down to the Northlands Coliseum to begin EGHL action with the Nordiques and the Oilers. Okay, we're just about ready to get started here at Northlands Coliseum between the Nordiques and the Oilers. In goal for Quebec today is going to be Mario Gosselin, while Andy Moog is between the pipes for the Oilers. Quebec has an offensive rating of D for this game, while Edmonton is at A, so the scoring chances respectively are 1-25 to for Quebec, and 65 to 100 for Edmonton. Should have a lot of goals in this one. Let's see, let's get started here. The referee will drop the puck and away we go. Two minutes off the clock. And then 82, it is going to be a scoring chance for Edmonton. And it's gonna be letter I. Craig McTavish is going to get the puck. And he's gonna shoot it from the face off circle. And it is gonna be a goal. Craig McTavish will put it in and Edmonton takes an early one nothing lead. For McTavish, it is his first of the season. And D1 will get the assist chances with line number four. First assist goes to Dave Semenko. And the second assist, nobody with a... Well, no, Paul Coffey has a six. So it's going to be Semenko and Coffey on the assists. And the time of the goal is going to be 2 minutes and 20 seconds of period number 1. one nothing Edmonton, and here we go with play again. 3 minutes off the clock this time. And it's a 92. It's another chance for the Oilers. And it's going to be Craig McTavish again. And this time, he's going to take it from the blue line, but it is going to be a no goal. 1 minute off the clock. 23, scoring chance for Quebec. And so taking it for the Nordiques this time is going to be Real Cloutier. And it is going to be from the slot. And he scores. Cloutier puts it in. And Quebec has tied this game at one apiece. And Cloutier, that's his second of the season. 
and we will go line one and D2 for the assists. First assist will go to Robert Picard, and it's a line of it's a line result for the second, so we'll take it away from Picard and give it to his line mates, which are Peter Stosny and Michelle Goulet. And the time of that goal is going to be six minutes and 14 seconds of the first period, and we are tied at one. Two more minutes off the clock as we return to play. 78, another scoring chance for Edmonton. This time, it's going to be the great one, Wayne Gretzky. He's going to go into the slot, and he scores. And Edmonton is back up, and this time it is 2-1. to one. For Gretzky, that's his fifth on the young campaign. D1 will get the assists this time as well. And Tikkanen will get the first assist, and Coffey will get the second. So Gretzky from Tikkanen and Coffee. And the time of the goal here is going to be 8 minutes and 52 seconds of period number 1. And the Oilers are up 2 to 1. Two more minutes off the clock. 36, nothing, we play on. Four minutes off the clock. And it's 96, it's another one for Edmonton. And this time, again, it's going to be Wayne Gretzky. And again, he's going to be in the slot, and again, he's going to score. The great one gets his second of the game. And now Edmonton's up 3-1. to one. D2 is going to join line one on the assists this time. Uh, Gretzky is already a center. And then the uh, six, there's nobody with a six this time. And I normally will flip a third card to see if I can get an assist. Uh, right wing or center, we'll give it to Curry. So Gretzky from Curry, and that's at 14 minutes and one second of the first period. And Edmonton is now up 3-1. Three, three more minutes off the clock. And four, another scoring chance for Quebec right here. And this time, it is going to be letter R. That is Dale Hunter. Hunter from the slot, and he puts it in. Dale Hunter with the goal. And Quebec is now back within one. It is three to two. Third goal in the year for Dale Hunter. And D1 is going to join line two on the assists for this one. Anton Stosny will get one assist. And his line mate Marion Stosny will get the other. So Anton Stosny and Marion Stosny on the assists for Dale Hunter. Time of the goal is going to be 17-29 of the first period and now we have a 3-2 game. Three more minutes off the clock will run out time here in period number one and so after one here at the Northlands Coliseum the Oilers up on the Nordiques by the score of 3-2 and we will be back with second period action right after this. Hey just a reminder if you like what you see here in the 80s Greats Hockey League and you want your own copy of Shootout Hockey then head on over to Shootout Hockey Game Dot com. On this website, you will find information on how to order the game and order seasons uh, for shootout hockey. Game is very affordable. Seasons range from seven to ten dollars. Uh, you can get the instructions and fast action cards for as low as five fifty if you want to print them out yourself. There are also some links on the website for tutorials, playthroughs, and even for high quality poker style fast action cards like the ones I use on this channel. Once again, if you are interested in ordering Shootout Hockey, go to www.shootouthockeygame.com today. Just about ready to start period number two. Off camera, we calculated the shots on goal for the first period. Edmonton had 14, and Quebec had only six. But on the scoreboard, it is only a 3-2 game. And here we go with the second period. Two minutes off the clock here. And then we have a 35. That is no scoring chance for either team. No time off the clock. And an 86. That is Edmonton's turn to bring it up ice, and it is letter S. That is Kevin Lowe on the second defense pair. He's going to go into the slot, but it's a no goal. Do Quebec dodging a bullet there. Four minutes off the clock. And in a 16, it's back to Quebec for a scoring chance. 
And it's going to be letter C, Anton Stasny from the face-off circle, but it's a no-goal and we will play on. One minute off the clock. 78, that is a scoring chance for the Oilers, and it is going to go to letter E, Craig Simpson. Simpson is going to take it into the face-off circle, and it's a rebound chance. Gosselin has a rebound rating of 5. The rebound rating here is 1, so he will get that rebound, and we will play on. Three more minutes off the clock. 88, it's another scoring chance for Edmonton as we reach the halfway point of the period, and Wayne Gretzky is going to get it now. And it's, he's going to take one from the face-off circle. And it's going to be a save result. And Mario Gosselin's save chances are 8 to 10. Save right here is a 10. He stones Gretzky. What a save by Mario Gosselin. And we play on. Two more minutes off the clock. 72. Another scoring chance for Edmonton. They keep pouring it on here. And this time it's going to be letter D. Mark Messier is going to take the putt. Puck. He brings it into the slot and he scores. Mark Messier finally puts Edmonton back on the board again. And now the Oilers have a 4 2 lead. Second goal of the year for Mark Messier. D2 will join in with line two on assists. Glenn Anderson is going to get the first assist and Kevin Lowe the second. So Messier. From Anderson and Lowe. And that is going to be at 12 minutes and 26 seconds of the second period. And now it's a 4-2 lead for Edmonton. We drop the puck again. Three more minutes off the clock. And a 25. It's back to Quebec for a scoring chance. And this time it is going to go to letter D, which is Mark Tardif. Tardif now into the slot. And he scores. And Quebec pulls it back. Two within one, Mark Tardif gets the goal. And for Tardif, that's going to be his first on the campaign. And it's now a 4-3. Back to just a one-goal lead. D2 along with line three for the assists. Nobody has a six, so we will skip that. Left defense, Mario Marois will get the only assist on this goal. So Tardif from Marois at 15-01 of period number two and now it's a 4-3 game so here we go two more minutes off the clock and a number 80 again a scoring chance for Edmonton and this time it is going to be letter F Paul Coffey brings the puck up ice pushes it into the faceoff circle another rebound chance so once again Mario Gosselin with his rebound rating of five Will he get the puck? Yes, he will with a, with a reading of two on that. Very easy save for him. So here we go. One more minute off the clock. Down to two minutes left. 37, nothing happens. And then four more minutes, and that's going to do it for period number two. So it's a one-goal lead again for Edmonton. At the end of the second, it is 4-2-3. So let's calculate shots here. For the Nordiques, they had two scoring chances in the period. And a D6 of 4 will mean 10 shots on goal for a total of 16. Seven scoring chances for the Oilers in that frame, but only one on the D6. But that still accounts for 13 shots in the period for a two-period total of 27. So after two here at the New Orleans Coliseum, the score, Edmonton 4 and Quebec 3, back with the third period right after this. Okay, we're here at the second intermission with the Oilers clinging on to a 4-3 lead over Quebec in EGHL action. Before we get to the third period, uh, let's check out some of the other games from October 14th as we go around the league. At the Garden, the uh, Boston Bruins defeated the Hartford Whalers by the score of 3-2. Rick Middleton had a goal and an assist in that game. At the odd in Buffalo, Tony McKegney scored twice as the Sabres upended the Red Wings by the score of 5-2. to two. At Chicago Stadium, Washington went 4-6 for six on the power play, and Mike Gartner ended up uh, with a goal and a couple of assists in that one as the Caps beat Chicago 7-5. Now we head over to the Forum in Inglewood, 
And in that game, the Kings beat the Blues by the score of 7-5. to five. Luke Robitaille scoring twice in that one. A day after getting trounced at the Met Center by the score of 9-1, to one, the Rangers came back at Madison Square Garden and beat the North Stars by the score of 5-4. to four. Mark Pavlich got the game-winning goal with only 16 seconds left in regulation. Meanwhile, over at the Pacific Coliseum, the Flames defeated the Canucks by the score of 6-2. to two. Joe Neuendijk got two goals in that one. And then finally, the Winnipeg Jets played their first EGHL game. At the Winnipeg Arena, they hammered the Toronto Maple Leafs by the score of 8-1. to one. Dale Howarchuk with a goal and two assists in that one. So that's what's happening around the league. Now let's go ahead and go back to third period action in the Northlands Coliseum between Quebec and Edmonton. All right, here we go. Start of period number three. Edmonton up 4-3 to three on the scoreboard. Let's see if Quebec is able to tie. Here we go. One minute. Off the clock, and it's a 72. It's a scoring chance for the Oilers once again. And letter N's going to take it this time. It's going to be Mark Messier. Messier is going to take it to the blue line. He's going to wind up, and it's going to be a no goal. Three minutes off the clock here. And so our reading next is going to be a 36. Nothing happens. We will flip on. Three more minutes off the clock. And a 58, no scoring chance, but it's going to be a penalty check against Edmonton for a penalty A. So we're going to check Y and Z. So Craig Simpson is a Z. So we will go ahead and put two minutes down for him. And we'll check to see any other Ys and Zs. We have Glenn Anderson with a minor, Dale Hunter. Y and Z, Dave Semenko, Kevin Lowe has a minor as well as uh, Steve Smith, and finally Lee Fogelin. And again, just a reminder, only one power play will be played out. The other penalties are assumed to have occurred in other parts of the game. So two Minutes on the power play for the Nordiques. Their scoring chance will get bumped up to 1-40 to 40 for these two minutes. So let's see if they can tie it here. Power play minute number one. It is going to be a 47. And no scoring chance here for either team. But now there's going to be a penalty check against the Nordiques. So it's going to cancel out that power play. So let's see what it is here. Uh-oh, it's going to be a penalty B result. So let's see what the penalty B reading will come up with. And it's going to be a fight between the number one rated on both squads. That is going to be Dale Hunter dropping the gloves with number one Kevin McClelland on the Oilers. So Nordiques dodge a bullet. They don't get shorthanded, but there is a fight involved here. So Hunter and McClelland will both get sent to the box for fighting. We have one more power play minute to play, and we're going to do that right now. So power play minute number two, uh, 46. And again, they're going to get whistled for some more penalty time. So let's see what happens here. And again, it's another penalty B check. Unbelievable. And another fight breaks out, this time between the number two rates. And that is Paul Gillis for Quebec and Steve Smith for Edmonton. So Gillis and Smith are sent off for fighting majors. So with 11 minutes left in the period, the Nordiques do not score on the power play, and it is still a 4-3 lead for Edmonton. So now we're back to normal mode. One minute off the clock, and it's a four. Quebec with a scoring chance to try to tie this game up. Michel Goulet is going to carry the mail here into the slot, but it's a no goal. Andy Moog stones him on that. Three minutes off the clock and a 53 and this time it's going to be Edmonton whistled again and again we're going to go with X and Y2 so Pat Hughes is an X player so he will get the gate so will Craig McTavish and Dave Lumley 
So X and Y2, and that's basically going to be it. So just three miners whistled there. So again, Quebec, back on the power play for two minutes. Let's see if they can score this time. Power play minute number one, 85. That's actually going to be a shorthanded chance for the Oilers. And so who's going to carry the mill shorthanded here? It's going to be letter J. Uh, it is going to be... Well, Pat Hughes was whistled for the penalty, so we'll see if somebody else can have it here. It's going to be D, Mark Messier. That's a better choice anyway. Uh, Mark Messier is going to get it. All shorthanded shots come from the blue line, and it's going to be a save result. Mario Gosselin needs an 8 to a 10 in order to not give up a shorthanded goal. Save rating is 7, and Messier puts it behind him. So Mark Messier with a huge shorthanded goal here, and that puts Edmonton up by 2. And so our assists are going to come from the D2 side of things along with line two, and Steve Smith is going to get the first assist, Craig Simpson the other. So Messier from Smith and Simpson, it's a shorthanded goal, and it comes at 14-24 of the third period to give the Oilers a 5-3 lead. Now we have one more power play minute, for Quebec here on this power play. So let's go ahead and resolve that. And it is going to be a power play chance for the Nordiques. They might get this right back here. It is letter F. It's going to be Brent Ashton. And Ashton's going to go to the slot. And he's going to score. And it is back to a one-goal game. Brent Ashton. And what a time to get his first of the season on the power play. And Quebec closes the gap once again to one goal. It is now 5-4. to four. And so, assist-wise, we'll go line four and D2. And Picard's going to get the first assist, and that's going to be the only assist on this goal. So, Ashton from Picard on the power play. And time of that is going to be 15.54 of the third. And now it's five to four. So, we're going down to the wire here. Two minutes off the clock. 83 back to the Oilers again and so this time who's going to get it again it's going to be Gretzky Gretzky is going to take it into the slot and Wayne Gretzky is going to get the hat trick and that should do it for this game Wayne Gretzky gets his third goal and that's going to put Edmonton up six to four and so we will go defense two along with line one here uh, Gretzky's already a center, and of course he's a center again, so let's flip one more. Uh, looks like left wing Tikkanen will be the only assist on this one. So Gretzky from Tikkanen, and that's going to take place at 17-12 of the third to give Edmonton a 6-4 lead here at Northlands with three minutes to go. So three minutes off the clock here, and that's going to run time out. And so we have a final here at Northlands Coliseum. It's 6-4 to four in favor of the Oilers. Shots on goal in the period. For Quebec, two chances and a D6 of three is 10 shots. So that's going to give a grand total for the game of 26. For Edmonton, three scoring chances and six. So that's going to be 15. So... So let's see, 27, 32, so that's going to be 42 shots for the Oilers. Uh, once again, your final here from the New Orleans Coliseum, the Edmonton Oilers 6 and the Quebec Nordiques 4. Now back to the studio for a wrap-up. Well, what an entertaining game that was. The Oilers coming out on top today over the Quebec Nordiques by the score of 6-4. to four. So um, let's go ahead and uh, give the scoring summary for the game today. It was Edmonton getting on the board first at 2.20 of the first period. McTavish with his first of the year from Semenko and Coffee to give the Oilers an early lead. But then Real Cloutier got his second from Peter Stasny and Michelle Goulet at 6.14 to tie it. Then, a couple minutes later, Wayne Gretzky got his first of the game, fifth of the season, from Tikkanen and Coffey at 8.52 to make it a 2-1 lead for Edmonton. Edmonton uh, increased it to 3-1, 14.01 mark, as Gretzky got his second goal of the game, this time from Yari Curry. 
And then finally, Dale Hunter rounded out the scoring in the period from Anton Stasny and Marion Stasny, and the score was three to two after one period of play. In the second period, Mark Messier got on the board for Edmonton, his second of the season from Anderson and Lowe at 12:26 to make it a four a four to two lead, but then Mark Tardif scored with about five minutes left in the second from Mario Marawa to make the score four to three after two. But in the third period, Mark Messier with a very important shorthanded goal at 1424 of the third made the score five to three. But then uh, Brent Ashton got the Quebec back within one again at 1554 on the power play to make it five four. But then Wayne Gretzky Put the nail in the coffin, his hat trick goal uh, from Teak and then at 17 12, and that made the final score Edmonton 6 and Quebec 4. Um, three stars of the game here today. The number three star went to Paul Coffey. He had two assists in the first period, kind of got things going for the Oilers a little bit. The second star of the game was Mark Messier. He had two goals, including that big shorthanded goal late in the third period. And the number one star, who else but the great one, Wayne Gretzky, a hat trick in, his, in the game, bringing his goal total up to seven for the season. So that does it for today's EGHL action with shootout hockey here on the Imagine Sports Showcase. Uh, I'm sure we'll have shootout hockey again um, on the table at some point uh, later on. And again, I've had some requests for some of the teams. Uh, I've had some requests for the Rangers, the Canadians, the Islanders. So if you, if you have a favorite team that you want to see featured on the channel, please uh, drop me a line, private message, comment, whatever, and I will try to get that on there for you when I can. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, coming somewhere down the line, the next week or two, episode number four of Old School Wrestling, as we count down the shows before our first Supercard of Initiation. Uh, so join us for that as well. Uh, once again, final score today for Northern's Coliseum, the Edmonton Oilers 6 and the Quebec Nordiques 4 in EGHL action with Shootout Hockey. Uh, once again, uh, thank you all for joining us today on Imagine Sport for this game. As always, please uh, play your games, keep on rolling those dice, and have a great day.